cooking in Ani's kitchen. My name is Ani. I will be a creative cook on this channel. Where did that come from? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, here's what I have for you today. I'm getting ready to make uh, an Italian baked chicken. And as usual, I'm just winging it because I felt inspired to do this type of recipe. And it is a little different, but I think it's going to work out just well. I mean, very well. Here's what we have. Yesterday, I had some, um, I had taken out some chicken breast and I sliced them up, you know, thinned them out and I marinated them in some sofrito. Mm, it's got some, uh, garlic and oh, it smells wonderful I put some um, what did I put white wine vinegar um, adobo a little bit of sea not sea salt a uh, Mediterranean uh, pink salt not Himalayan pink salt what am I talking about anyway so I marinated it yesterday it's been in the fridge overnight and that's just about ready to go. Uh, I forgot that I had already put garlic in that, so I'm not. I'm going to put these pieces of garlic away. Anyway, I've got some uh, frozen sliced julienne sliced green peppers. I'm going to stir fry all this. I've got red. I've got yellow and orange yellow and orange sweet peppers and green peppers and i have my pan over here that i'm getting ready to stir fry them so let me go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil on there just a little splash get that pan going and i'll sear the um or saute the peppers but i've got a half of white onion julienne sliced I've I had some block feta cheese in the refrigerator left over from a dish, so I'm gonna use this. I sliced it up, what I had left, I had half left. I've got some sliced cherry tomatoes. I've got a cup of ricotta cheese. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna mix in a cup of mozzarella. Go ahead and do that right now. It's half. I always say two fistfuls is one cup. <laughs> That's my measurement. But measure out one cup if you want to be precise. I say the more the merrier. <laughs> all right. Whoever else jumps in, jumps in. It's all good. Okay, so um, you can put an egg in this if you want which I will do to mix it all up, okay? I love ricotta. Ricotta cheese is so sweet on its own. Oh, I could eat a whole quarter of this bite. Oh, just with a spoon. Hand me a spoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, and, you know, it's cream. It's made from milk, so high in phosphorus and all that so for me it's not really a good idea i gotta stick to almond milk i have to have this sparingly in moderation stuff like this but i remember back in the day <laughs> this and cream cheese uh oh. every morning in new york when i used to go to work on my way i used to pick up a bagel and cream cheese and a cup a large cup of coffee oh gosh i missed that Yep, yep, yep. Now it's every once in a blue moon. You know, take a hundred pills for it before. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bind that false fruit. I'm just joshing with you all. Not really, I mean, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just a little pinch. All right. And here comes my egg. Okay. Mix that in there. 
and this is ready to go pretty much. So then I've got some Parmesan Romano, okay, my usual. It's like shredded, grated, shredded, not powdered, shredded, or grated rather. <laughs> I've got my EVOO, and look, over here, I've got spring mix. I didn't have any basil, which is what I was wanting for this dish. I don't have no fresh basil. My plant didn't survive the winter, but I got the best I got out of it. I mean, what I could. It served me well. I have to get another one. They, for me, those type of uh, spice plants, you know, you really have to look out for them, and I just... I just have too much on my plate, I guess, but they serve me well. I mean, I usually, from the spring to the winter, you know, it's good enough for me. And then I just get a whole nother plant. <laughs> yeah, they're about five bucks, so. But if I had time for it, I'd get a greenhouse. And let me tell you, I try to plant the garden <laughs> out back and... Always plant your gardens away from your house. Never buy your house. Because you'll invite all kinds of creatures that way. And um, anyway, I couldn't keep any of it. I mean, I have too much wildlife out there. But they fat now. <laughs> the wildlife is. I got a squirrel as big as a cat. Almost looks like a miniature, like a dog, like a, a terrier. He's big. But anyway, so I've got the ricotta, I've got the parmesan cheese, I've got the feta, the tomatoes, the onions, the peppers, the sweet peppers, and I've got the, let me lower this, and I've got the spring mix. Okay. I don't want that. Just start frying these vegetables over here. I don't want them too soggy. too soft. I just want them like fierce. Especially the green peppers, they were frozen. So, this is just to add color to the top of the dish. Just, I, just, I discovered that those peppers look really pretty on the top. I always used to bake them in, in everything and now I just wait and top them. Use it as a topper. So much better. Okay, put the heat back up. Get some sizzle going. A little bit longer, and then I'll turn it off. Okay. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... Everything is pretty much ready to go. Okay, so let me work over here. Alright. Alright, we're going to take EVOO, and we're going to kind of, okay, brush the pan, the bottom of it, okay, sides. Alright, that's enough for the peppers. Okay. Then I'm going to take the onions. Usually red onions are better, but I like white onions, so just lay the onions down on the bottom of your dish. Okay. Just haphazardly. I like that word, haphazardly. Okay. 
Here's the chicken. We're going to lay that right on top of the onion. Oh God, this smells so good. a really uh, easy dish to make you know if you marinate if you prep your meat marinate it the day before this was three a pack of three breasts and I got like three uh, three to four slices out of each one they were pretty thick anyway if you do it the day before then your work is pretty much done, and then the oven does the rest, you know? You saw, all I had to do was slice these tomatoes, uh, these cherry tomatoes in half, and you don't have to, you can leave them whole. And then I just had to slice up this block of feta, because I didn't have crumble feta. So, and then and what you just saw me do with the uh, mozzarella and the ricotta, that's it. That's pretty much... Uh, Oh, yeah, and the peppers, the sweet peppers. Slice them up. Pretty much all the work. It's not much. It's about 10 minute prep work. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. Let me go ahead and put this down here. All right, so we have our chicken in the house. Okay. All bedded down. Okay. All right. So now we are going to lay down some feta here and there. In there. My New York accent comes out every once in a while. <laughs> I can't help it. I have a cross between a Southern, as in hillbilly southern, and the Yankee accent. <laughs> All right. Crumple the rest up. There. I put the feta to use. Put it to use. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this ricotta and mozzarella mix. bacon on this if you want uh, for me it would be turkey or beef but you can put bacon Put our tomatoes. Just arrange them haphazardly. I tell you, I like that word. Sauce. 
I'm gonna do the tomato, basil, and garlic. Now, once this is cooked, then I'll take it out and I'll put the rest of the peppers on there. Oh, and it's going to be oh so good. I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese. You can't tell me this doesn't look good. I, You know, it was a thought in my head. I just had to make this. All right, so I'm going to put this in the oven. Look how pretty that looks. I just got to take a before. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that right back, right in the oven. At 350. Now that chicken, the chicken breast, so they'll cook fast. All right, let's see how long I'm going to try uh, 30 minutes. I'll check it, and if it's ready, I'll bring you back. If not, I'll leave it a little longer, and then I'll tell you how long the total time that I've left it in there. I'll be back, and those peppers are going to go on top. Hey, I just want to show you some. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and machacar, uh, mash these uh, garlic, pieces of garlic with some more oil. And there was my oil. Okay, about a tablespoon of oil and a little bit of salt. But I want to show you something. See, I have this little jar here. It's an old seasoning jar that the used up all the seasoning and I kept the jar, it's a glass jar, to do my olive oil. It's what I put on toast or spread and it's got um, all kinds of flakes of seasonings and there, pepper and um, some Cuban style flakes and a little bit of salt, but it also has um, mashed up garlic, you know, and olive oil and I want you to notice you see that how I solidified the fat of the olive that's how you can tell you have good olive oil and not fake olive oil when you put it in the refrigerator your olive oil should solidify just like that see that that tells you it's authentic olive oil and not made up stuff see so yeah, this is the brand that I use, by the way, just if you all want to know. That's it. Filippo. Filippo Berio. <laughs> oh, olio extra virgin de oliva. Mm -hmm. See that? That's what I use. So that's authentic. That's how you can test. That's how you test your olive oil so if your olive oil does not solidify you know when you put it in the fridge after let's say maybe two to three hours maybe you even try it overnight if you want if it doesn't solidify you don't have real olive oil you got a mixture of some made up stuff and they do that, so yeah, beware. So I'm gonna mash this up and put it in here. And what I use this is as a spread on toast, on um, bruschetta, all kinds of stuff to dip in bread with. Oh yeah, delicious stuff. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we got 18 seconds left. We're gonna take. This baby out, take a look and top it with these peppers. Put maybe a little bit more. Uh, what am I going to put on there? Parmesan Romano. And the rest. That's the timer. 
get ready to take her out. Ah! Looks just as pretty as I pictured it in my hand. <laughs> I didn't need to quit that. Oh! Look at that. Oh my. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely <laughs> scrumptious huh and i'm gonna add these peppers in there on top a lot of peppers I don't know why I'm holding you in my hand. That's it. So, turning the oven off. I'm just gonna sit her right back in there and just let her get a look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. Just let it get a little melty welty with the parmesan and the peppers and those juices flow now i'll bring you back uh with the final presentation it's only 10 in the morning so i'll bring you back around dinner time and i'll show you what the plate looks like okay everyone so here's dinner there's my italian baked chicken dish look how beautiful that looks oh yum look at that Delicious, all of it. Yep. Focus. And then I'm serving it with some pasta, with homemade tomato sauce, you know. I have a recipe on that on my channel. Look it up. And um, there's some of the sauce, the homemade sauce. And... Here's some um, garlic bruschetta. Okay, that's from that little jar I showed you with my little garlic. I put some on there and spread it out. And poured some olive oil over this, some Parmesan cheese, grated and shredded. And then I toasted it. And then, of course, his salad. He always has to have his salad. So this is dinner for tonight. Go ahead and make you some of this Italian baked dish let me i will tell you this let me tell you this after you bake it you know the chicken went in raw so you know it released some of its condensation some of its liquid go ahead and after it's cooled down all you have to do is over the sink and into a bowl if you want to save it because that's chicken stock and it's seasoned so you just pour it into a bowl and then in a jar or into a jar directly yeah, you kind of just tilt the pan and it'll just come right out. It's not a whole lot. Remember, there's olive oil in there. There's uh, onions. There's some good spices in there. So I wouldn't throw it out. I would keep that stock, okay? It would come in handy with for some soup or other marinades. All right, so this is it, you all. That is my Italian baked chicken served with a mound of spaghetti. Mm -hmm, with homemade spaghetti sauce and those are a little bit of chopped uh, scallions or green onions uh, or spring onions however people call it but yeah so that's dinner for tonight y'all give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video um go ahead and make you some please it's delicious i've already had my little piece yeah my little corner of the world yeah really good that feta kicks it off. I got to tell you. I think I'm going to start using feta in all my Italian dishes. <laughs> I mean, it really does. Just a hint of it. Oh, it says it just boosts that flavor. Yeah, out of this world delicious. 
Anyway, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and then after you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ring it. Ding, ding. Turn it on, in other words. And I'll ring you. Every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. How about that? It's absolutely free. Well, Hopster's home. You hear the dog. You hear the bell. <laughs> But anyway, until the next one, God bless you all. Thanks for joining me today. Take care of yourselves and one another. Off to dialysis I go. Ho, ho.